Okay, what I got here, right here, infinity coils, three genuine infinity coils, all of slightly different sizes. That way, if I wanted to, I could pulse them at slightly different times, one after the other. Now, I'm not doing that right here. All I'm doing is I'm going to run off one infinity coil, okay? The other two are going to act as, you know, copper drag, right? Copper drag. Okay, what do I got to do? Is it hooked up? No, it's not. I got it. I got one little cable. Okay. What I got is like uh, four magnets right there, ring magnets spinning, four magnets high, um, times uh, six on a 15 pound uh, exercise bike wheel. Okay, and I got magnets, uh, three sets of them that turn on this switch. Let's get a good view of the side of the switch. You, you can probably see that electrical arc coming from the 14.4 uh, eight-year-old drill battery. Uh, John Mate, Canadian Tire Brandy. Nickel cadmium battery. Still got some jam though. Still got some jam, that old thing. This coil is the only one pulsing. This one is doing nothing. This one is doing nothing. These two could be receiving energy back in through magnetic induction between the north-south, north-south, uh, you know, configuration of the natural setup of the whole thing. Look at that switch, eh? That's a magnetic switch. It goes down when the magnet goes over it. It's got a magnet, two magnets on the top of it. It's got two magnets on the top of that switch. And once again, it's running off this old battery, 14.4. So if you don't know how many poles the infinity coil has, then check out my last video. It has eight poles, and I'll show you where they are, are at. Okay, but uh, yeah, check this, check it out, people. It, it sure is a lot of energy going into there, but the point of this video is to show that you can run stuff off infinity coils. Those other two could be receiving probably around six volts at that speed. Who knows?